Yeah, as we were mentioning about being born again, uh, just wanted to ask a question. Will uh, someone lose their feelings uh, when they are saved? I'd like to add to that question. Uh, does the person have to live with those feelings or do they have to become a heterosexual? Like one, like he was saying, once they are saved. Okay. Um, we'll first address the first part of the question. Um, see, it's not as uh, easy as maybe flipping a coin. Your feelings don't change overnight. Um, and uh, when someone comes to the Lord, um, he understands what God's absolute standards are. Um, and that is what he needs. That is going to be his goal. And that is what his constant endeavor has to be. But um, it is a process that can take time. Now, I can tell you some personal stories. Uh, when I say personal stories, stories that, uh, story, a few testimonies that I have heard. Uh, first is a case of um, a person who was same-sex attracted. Eventually, he came to know the Lord um, and God helped him to, to have a change in his orientation. Uh, eventually, this, this man got married um, and he has a child as well. Uh, and in fact, in that particular story which I saw, uh, his wife shares her perspective as well on how their marriage came together. So during the course of his journey, after he came to know the Lord, he had godly people who walked alongside him and helped him. Um, in his Christian walk. So that's very important. The fellowship is very, very important um, in that case. Um, coming to your question, now what I would say is uh, homosexual, being a homosexual or being a heterosexual is not what the scripture commands us to be. We are asked to be imitators of Jesus Christ. You can be a heterosexual sinner. You don't need to only be a homosexual to be in sin. So it is a myth to say that uh, homosexuality is a greater sin than adultery. What do you say, Evan? Yeah, I think the standard in which God is going to judge is whether you believe in Jesus or not. Mm. I think that's the ultimate question. I don't think it is based on your uh, orientations in the uh, in the real sense. I think uh, this is a battle that that person will have to fight, just like every other battle, every other sin. A heterosexual has to fight in his, his own life, right. um, whether it be lust, whether it be any other sin, we are asked to pursue holiness, live in holiness and be like Christ in every way. Right. So being uh, heterosexual is not the solution to this problem, right. uh, but being like Christ is right. the ultimate uh, solution and something that God is desiring from a person who is transitioning. Yeah. That's right. In fact, in uh, Leviticus chapter 18, um, the scripture lists out all the sexual sins and what is interesting is homosexuality, adultery, bestiality, incest, all of this are equally condemned. Not one is given a higher or a lower weightage when it comes to sin. So sin is sin and in the eyes of God all sin are to be equally condemned. I think the same thing even Paul repeats that in 1st Corinthians chapter 6 and in 1st Timothy chapter 1 where sure. Paul talks about mention these sins along with homosexuality Paul mentions a lot of other sins including uh, theft and greed and covetousness and every other sin so which means that we cannot give an overemphasis to this particular sin in God's sight uh, every sin is equally serious and important uh, I have another story to tell and this is the uh, story of a boy who I have known for the last uh, I think three years. Um, he is same sex attracted um, and um, he is praying that one day God would change his desires so that he can eventually get married and start a family. Uh, and in fact I pray for him regularly as well ever since I came to know about him. Um, now what he has told me is very interesting. What he said is um, if the Lord in his will chooses to change his desires then he would love to get married and have a family and, 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 and have children. But if the Lord's will is otherwise, um, he would stay celibate, uh, like how many other Christians uh, have chosen to remain celibate, because he believes that with his body, he should be honoring God, rather than fall into the temptation of uh, going and living with someone of the same sex.